assist against Russia. Now Turka drops his egress. Segris dancing into his backhand shovel that Ranishitz but right into his stomach. He's right, U.S., Canada, Finland, Sweden, Russia. Yep. U.S. is on the side with three of the big five. So the whole trick here is don't finish third. Veneers enters. Boldy has it. Pulls, fires, rebound, loose in front of Ranishitz. He gets across to make the save. Fourth to run. Up to Boldy, who will dump it in. And he heads to the bench. That was something that Nate had to talk about as well. An edge blown and then a hit given to Arthur Kaliev by Nitsasani. Still in the Ozone, across for Zegras, tipped away. Still has it on his backhand, comes around the net, loses an edge, no penalty. Ellison up for Zegras. Over to Turcotte. Turcotte to Hellison, dances through, and they score! Running Austrians. And it's, it's interesting because this is just a simple little play to the front of the net. Puck just keeps rolling, 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 had some eyeballs on it, and finds its way across the goal line as the goaltender just does not make a clean play on it, rolls through him. Sometimes you're expecting fastball, knuckleball comes at you. He's set, he's in good spot here. He just blew it. And the United States takes a one nothing lead and some of their hard work from early in the period pays off here late. Changes course, backhands into the slot. There's Brink. Bobby Brink pressured along the boards. Guy has no panic in his game. He's a joy to watch. One time blast. Kicked out of play. Well, if anybody in Edmonton has got a level, I'd bring it to the rink. See where the little water bottle is right now because it tilted very much towards the Austrian defensive zone. U.S. a great play in the center ice area to turn this thing back and get it into transition as Berard goes wide, gets around the D. Throws him to the front, and that one was labeled for the minute it left. It's just got a piece of it, and then hit iron. Now Zegris, Zegris holds, pass to Turcotte, who rings it off the post. Zegris again, cuts to his backhand. Zegris in front, puck loose, they poke at it. Zegris thinks they have a goal, but there is no sign, just a whistle. I mean, that's an NHL play. Turcotte poking around, punching around. You've got to be able to see the puck across the goal line Play if this thing review. goes to review. Let's take a look. And at no point do you conclusively see that puck across the line. Nor do I. After review, the call the ice is confirmed. You have no goal. And that's the right call. Ball the moving around that they did and all the heavy lifting that their offensive players did. There's the last chance as it lays across the goal line. and. No one home to poke it around, but look at the look at the blue sweaters around the blue paint. I mean that if you're a coach and you're watching this game back later, you are ecstatic. And then checked over there by Vimmer. Turcott, his fellow Kings prospect now. Dug out across. York has it. York shot another one off the post. Here's Faber. Faber with a shot. Blocker save. Let's finish. Here since 2012. Collected in front of the net of Ranishitz. Here's Turcotte again. Segris has it. Segris shoots and scores. It's 2 0 the Team USA. Turcotte, Turcotte walks the wall. Little dipsy doodle down low, and Segris just loaded the gun and fired. And look how quickly he delivered it. He got it. Got it set and let it ride. And Five minutes have gone by here in the middle frame. U.S. has just doubled its lead thanks to the second goal of the tournament for Zegras. Looking for more. Farinacci battling for it. Farinacci gets a shot off and he scores. He would not be denied. 3-0. Eventually, 20 players deep is going to wear you out. And it's just starting. Two goals real quick. Faradacci with a great play. Uses size, uses strength. Goes for Austria. 33 shots against him. Brisson. Now for Sanderson. Brisson lets it go, and he rips it home. Brendan Brisson. Team and what a shot. For... Keep an eye on the U.S. as they move the puck around. Brisson sets himself up right there on the dot. Lee just... Hill to the one-timer pass, and you just saw it laid out by Clevin right between the skates 
of Brisson, and as he adjusted his body to get a little bit more on it, he puts it right off the camera. Has it, Renishit's trying to cover, can't, Kelly with the wraparound, and Renishit's got a cross. Zegers has it, sharp angle shot, and you heard another ping. Turk out over for Zegers. Zegers pulls, dead angle, he scores! Did you, Trevor Zegers? Caulfield, who got the shot on goal. The U.S. never gave up possession. Wanner shit down way, I mean way too early. This is the default thing that goalies do. Brock Faber, second rounder of the Kings. Lead pass up for Matty Beneers. Beneers on a break, he passes, they score! Team up for a tally here. If you're the ADM staff at Colorado Springs, you're just clipping highlights that you're going to put in coach presentations for the next 10 years watching this. I mean, that was just beautiful. Good pass, tape to tape. Nice execution on a little backhand pass. To Captain for Team Austria, best player by far. Centers, shot off the post and covered by Dustin Wolf. The best chance by far for Team Austria in this one. Berard now for Team USA with speed. Berard shoots and scores. He turned on the Jets. Sizes up the defense score and now watch out one, two, three. Wow. And a great rush to the front of the net. When he was at the National Team Development Program, they wanted to define him. Nick Four is telling me a great story. They said to him, hey, be Brad Marchand. Be that guy who's a thorn in everybody's side. In the net. He got Landon Slaggard's stick. Clevin pulls, fires, rebound there, and the trash is cleaned up. Puck to the net. Brisson goes in and finishes it up. Good play out of his skates. You always have to appreciate a guy that's just been around it. Yep. By giving up nine was really, really good. 18-year-old playing in the Vienna Capitals organization in Austria. Oh, I mean, again, what are you going to do there? What are you going to do there? <laughs> Direction there. <laughs> From Moynihan. No, 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 no. What me. Good play to the front of the net. Boldy with face off. Excuse me. Get the puck back, and then it's just, it is... It's open hockey right now. So now a test for Brander who comes in. Brett Berard on the far side. He has some reinforcements in front. Colangelo, one-timer. And he scores to make it 11-zip. The pro package that he brings to the table. Colangelo's sitting there waiting, find some soft ice. Look at that release. I mean, that's a pro shot. And the U.S. strikes for number 11. Just drilled it. Right off the glove. Now on the stick of Clevin. Up for Cali, a big hit laid, a penalty coming up on Austria. And you wonder how necessary it was. Tyler Clevin taking exception as Moynihan is in some trouble. I mean, I'm going to be honest, I'm going to need to... 11, not even in a one nothing game, but the... 11 Austria, rip, number four. that Five is for targeting, that is conduct. elbow to the head, that's a blind side. It's incumbent upon the player delivering a hit. Not to do that to a defenseless player, that is just outright garbage. Philip Vimmer, 6'4", 200 pounds, has turned 19 years old on the 13th of December, and you see the Team USA bench. Tyler Clevin was quick to him, too, as Moynihan is up and now on the bench. And he's going to go back to the room. There's an uncalled for hit. There's a. Yeah. That'll do it for Vimmer. In 2017, December 26, 2017, a 9 nothing win over Denmark at the World Juniors. That mark has been equal. Thank you, Dave Fisher, Senior Director of Communications for USA Hockey for the note. And I promised him I'd sit on it all third period and not jinx anything.